Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll look up the selected account name using the index and match functions. Equals index. The first argument is the range that contains the value you wish to return, the account name column. The next argument is the row number. The match function will provide the row number to the index function. Match the account number in the account number column and zero for exact match. Close out the functions and hit enter. Looks good. Select a different account number to test out the formula. Hey, I think we're good. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll use the index and match functions to return account names from a table. First, convert the chart of accounts to a table. Name the table TBL underscore COA. Now, the formulas. Equals index. The column that has the value to return is the account name column. So we'll use the structured table reference, TBL underscore COA, account name, and comma. The next argument is the row number. And again, we'll use the match function here. Match the account number in the TBL COA account num column and zero for exact match. Close the functions and enter. Fill the formula down and we look good. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll practice going left with index and match. Start by converting the items range to a table. Name the table TBL underscore items. Now the formulas equals index. The return column is TBL underscore items prod manager. The row num argument is computed by the match function. Match the item ID in the TBL underscore items item ID column zero for exact match. Close the functions and hit enter. Looks good. Now fill the formula down. Write a similar formula for the class column equals index return the value from the tbl underscore items class column match the item id in the tbl underscore items item id column zero for exact match close out the functions and hit enter fill the formula down to complete the column exercise four in this exercise we'll use the index match functions to retrieve a value from a table We'll then insert a column and observe that the formula continues to work as expected. Start by converting the item lookup range to a table. Name the table TBL underscore item underscore lookup. Now the formulas equals index. Return the value from the table's product manager column. Match the item ID in the table's item ID column zero for exact match. Close out the functions and hit enter. A similar formula works for the class column equals index. Return the value from the tables class column. Match the item ID in the tables item ID column zero for exact match. Close out the functions and hit enter. Fill both formulas down throughout the range and we look good. Now for the big test. Let's insert a new column between H and I. Insert column. Excellent news. Our formulas continue to work as expected. Exercise 5. In this exercise, we'll write a single formula and fill it down and to the right, and it will continue to work. Start by converting the department list to a table. Name the table TBL underscore departments. The report formulas will be consistent equals index. The first argument is the table TBL underscore departments. The second argument is the row number. This is computed by the match function. Match the department number. Since we'll fill the formula down into the right, we'll need to lock down the column reference. The next argument is the lookup array, the table's department number column and zero for exact match. 
The third argument is the column number. This is computed by the match function. Match the column header. Since we'll fill the formula down into the right, we need to lock down the row reference. The next argument is the lookup array, the table's header row, and 0 for exact match. Close out the functions and hit enter. Now, if we did this correctly, we should be able to fill the formula down and to the right. Fill it down, looks good. Fill it right, and looks good. Extra credit 1. In this exercise, we'll return a value that is offset one row. Equals index. The column that has the value we wish to return is the ee count column. The row number is determined by the match function. Match the row label grand total in the manager column and zero for exact match. Since this match function returns the row that contains the label grand total and we actually want to return the value that is one row down, we need to add one to its result. Close out the functions and hit enter. Hey, looks good. This video is a production of Click Consulting.